Greetings, fellow Linux enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into a classic debate that's been echoing through the Linux community, the eternal battle of Linux Mint vs Fedora. We are here to unravel the intricacies of these two powerhouses and help you determine which one aligns best with your needs. So, grab your popcorn and let's embark on this Linux adventure together. Step into the ring of Linux contenders. Linux Mint, known for its user-friendly approach and a warm embrace for Windows converts, delivers a seamless transition to the Linux world. Surprisingly, it even outperforms Ubuntu in certain aspects, making it a versatile choice for users of all backgrounds. On the flip side, we have Fedora, a trailblazing distribution that pushes the boundaries with its cutting-edge innovations. Its purpose? To act as a testing ground for future advancements destined for the prestigious Red Hat Enterprise Linux RHEL. Unlike Linux Mint, Fedora caters more towards the seasoned developers and Linux aficionados. Segment 2 Analyzing System Requirements and Hardware Compatibility Time for a hardware showdown. Both Linux Mint and Fedora demand a minimum of 2GB of RAM, 20GB of disk space, and a 1024x768 resolution display for a basic experience. But remember, it's not just about numbers. Both distro play well with modern and older hardware, but the real test is when they dance with your specific components. Keep in mind, while Linux Mint's 19 series is cozy with 32-bit systems until April 2023, Fedora has waved farewell to these systems. Now, let's talk about the rhythm of software updates and the visual feast of desktop environments. Linux Mint follows the path of long-term releases, LTS, with 5 years of unwavering support, mirroring the Ubuntu model. Meanwhile, Fedora follows a different beat, introducing new updates every 6 months, each version supported for 13 months. As for the aesthetic touch, Linux Mint offers the trio of Mate, Cinnamon, and XFC desktop environments. Fedora may lack LTS releases, but it shines with its Fedora spins, offering an array of desktop options including KDE, Mate, Cinnamon, and more. Jumping into the software realm and user-friendliness, let's explore the application offerings. Linux Mint's repositories proudly present a diverse range of software, while Fedora's repositories adhere strictly to open-source applications. Notably, Linux Mint's arsenal includes the lightweight Synaptic Package Manager. For those considering a smooth initiation, Linux Mint's familiarity and Ubuntu roots make it a comforting choice. On the other hand, Fedora's landscape might be slightly more labyrinthine due to its installation options and variations in package management. Now, let's venture into the out-of-the-box experience and the treasure trove of documentation. Linux Mint often impresses with its effortless startup, especially for NVIDIA users. Yet, Fedora's documentation steps onto the stage as a valuable resource for those embarking on a deeper Linux learning journey. Next up, let's delve into the realm of community support and explore the corporate VS community balance. Both Linux Mint's forums and Fedora's discourse-based forum are ready to lend a helping hand. Speaking of balance, Fedora leans on the might of Red Hat, promising unwavering innovation and support. On the flip side, Linux Mint thrives on the vibrant efforts of its community, tirelessly tailoring the experience to everyday users. Wrapping it all up, the million dollar question, which path should you choose? Seeking a user-friendly, hassle-free journey? Look no further than Linux Mint. Craving the exhilaration of tech exploration and a front row seat to the latest and greatest? Fedora could be your ticket to that adventure. Remember, both distro come with their unique strengths and peculiarities. 
Reflect on your needs, the hardware you wield, and the experience you crave. We've dissected the essentials, but ultimately, the decision rests in your capable hands. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling Linux showdown. Are you swaying towards Team Mint or leaning into Team Fedora? We're dying to know your thoughts, so hit up the comments below. Don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe for more enlightening tech discussions. Until our digital paths cross again, keep exploring the vast landscape of open source possibilities. Happy Linuxing!